Hey Credit Warriors, welcome to the show and this is one of those I booked this videos because I just booked, well about a month ago, I just booked a $6,000, close to $6,000 trip to Hawaii with credit card points and in this video I am going to go through the entire trip, I'm going to show you the hotels, the flights, all the points I used and stuff, the value I got out of them. But just before we start, I have held back with making this video just because of what happened in Hawaii with the terrible fires on Maui. I didn't want it to be a little bit weird like they have those fires and then I come out with the video like well, hey I'm gonna Hawaii as if nothing happened okay that would be terrible very insensitive so I waited a few weeks to release this and just for disclosure as well we're going to the big island we're not going to Maui where that happened um, but anyway nonetheless our hearts goes out to all of the people involved in that but without further ado let's get into talking about this trip which would cost about five thousand eight hundred dollars if you booked it all cash um, we'll go through the flight I booked first and this is going to be a little controversial amongst points and miles experts. I'm going to get probably roasted in the comments for this, but I don't mind. I'm taking one for the team, okay? Because I actually booked, well, I'm flying their economy. I had a very specific, um, you know, booking I wanted to do because I'm flying with the family, two little kids and the wife. I wanted two six-hour flights rather than a 12-hour flight to Honolulu and then a short flight to the Big Island. Um, but I, yeah, I wanted two six hours and change in LA where we can go to a lounge, stretch the legs, etc., for two hours. Um, because traveling with little kids on a 12 hour flight, is just, it's going to be a nightmare. So I want to break it up for them. I didn't have enough points to do all business class. So I did um, go for economy. I spent 220,000 points plus $44 on an itinerary with Delta. And those points were transferred from American Express to Delta. Okay. <laughs> I think some of you already know where this is going. Um, and the whole ticket would have cost $2,700 for four people. Funny thing is, I could have got way better value um, if I'd used some different methods. So let's talk about those. So one way to get better value out of that booking would be to use the business platinum um, the benefit on the business platinum, which is the points rebate. So the Amex business platinum gives you a 35% points rebate on bookings through the travel portal. You can use it on any airline if you book first or business class, but if you use your selected airline, uh, you can actually use it on economy as well. Now I'd actually selected American Airlines for my selected airline. I didn't think I could change and I'd also already transferred points over to Delta as well. So I kind of totally screwed up. That's that's a little tip there. Never transfer points over unless you're 100% sure you're gonna book. Anyway, um, so I'd already transferred points over to Delta, but what it means is I'll just go through the value I would have got. Um, I would have had to have paid 270,000 points because the flight cost about $2,700 for four people. Um, but I would have got 35% back, which would be 94,500 points back. So I only would have spent 175,500 points. Okay, so quite a lot less. I would have saved like 45,000 points, which... You know, it's a little bit of a shame. Let's give you another way that I could have saved some points as well. But actually first guys, if you do want to support the channel, if you like these videos uh, and you want to support us at no cost to yourself, do consider signing up for Weeble, the zero commission brokerage app. They've got a deal right now for our viewers. You can actually get up to 12 free stocks when you open a new brokerage account and deposit any amount of money, all right? It's a fantastic deal. The minimum you get is six at a minimum value of $34 altogether. And if you're lucky, you can get up to 12, okay? At values of possibly even thousands of dollars if you're really lucky. Luck of the draw what you get. Link is below if you're interested. But anyway, the other way to get better value out of this um, would be to transfer the points to Delta, but then also apply for a Delta credit card. And Delta has that new 15% um, discount when you book with points. It's called Takeoff 15. It was brought in on all the Delta co-branded credit cards a while ago. And so, yeah, I could have saved 15% of the points, which would have been like, I don't know, 30,000 and something uh, points. So I'm taking one for the team. I was a little bit under pressure to get this book quickly because we're actually attending a wedding in Hawaii. And, uh, you know, the, the couple wanted to make sure we're on the list. It's only a few weeks until we have to go. So, you know, it was a little bit of pressure. So that's also another moral of the story. Never book awards bookings under high pressure, all right? Let's move on to the hotels because I think I did a lot better with the hotels uh, than I did with the flights. So the first hotel we are going to stay at, we're staying at two hotels on this trip. The first one is where the wedding is that we are going to be attending. And the second one is just a hotel that we picked ourselves. The first one is called the Fairmont Orchid. Now, this is an American Express fine hotels and resorts collection hotel, all right? Now, I love booking through FHR. I've used it at the Conrad in DC. I've used it at the Bellagio in Las Vegas, and now at the Fairmont Orchid in Hawaii. 
And uh, what FHR is, is basically when you book through that collection, and you can use this collection if you have the Amex Platinum, Amex Business Platinum, Centurion card as well, you get a load of extra benefits even though you don't have any form of status with the hotel. So I'm gonna read you out what you get at the Fairmont Orchid. You get a 2 p.m. late check-in when available. We don't actually need that because we're arriving there in the early evening. Um, you get a room upgrade at check-in when available. So I actually booked the garden view room, so we you know, might get upgraded to something better. Hopefully an ocean room, that would be amazing. Ocean view room, but uh, I don't know, it could just be on a higher floor or something. Daily breakfast for two, which at these high-end hotels really saves you a lot of money. Um, you get an experience credit for food and beverage. That's $100 to be used during your stay. Complimentary Wi-Fi and also 4 p.m. late checkout guaranteed. Now let's run through the numbers on this one because this was a cash booking. Okay, this one wasn't with points, um, but obviously we get some value because it's fine hotels and resorts and there's a credit. We actually got two, uh, $400 given back to us. So. The rooms there are about $500, but once you act, add in all the taxes, resort fees and stuff, they go up to about $700. So for two nights, I paid $1,401, but the personal American Express Platinum card does give you a $200 credit for fine hotels and resorts bookings. So I got $200 back, taking me down to $1,201. Then Mrs. Credit Shifu also booked one more night um, so that she could take advantage of her Fine Hotels and Resorts credit for $200 on her Amex Platinum. So hers went down from $700 down to $500. So the total um, for that whole booking was about $1,700. One thing I will point out is you only get the $100 experience credit once during your stay, okay? You used to be able to get it twice on back-to-back -back bookings if one person booked one and another person booked the other booking and you stayed in the same room and stuff. Um, but now Amex introduced uh, some terms and conditions about a year or so ago uh, that you can't do that. So if uh, one person books one night and another person books another night and you say that at the check-in, hey, we've got two bookings, we'd like to stay in the same room, they will not give you the $100 experience or dining credit twice, okay? However, the daily breakfast for two, the uh, food and beverage credit, and the $400 we got back from the fine hotels and resorts, all that, probably gonna save us around $600, $700 uh, through that stay. So very, very worth. If someone asks you to come and stay at a high-end hotel or you're looking at a high-end hotel and you're gonna book with cash, always look to see if it's in FHR, okay? Because you'll be kicking yourself. If you like book outside of FHR, you book direct or something and you haven't got loyalty status and then you see, oh, I could have got free breakfast, $100 credit, late checkout, all that stuff. So I always recommend booking through Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts Collection. Or if you've got like the Sapphire Reserve, Chase also has a hotel collection. Capital One also has a new hotel collection, the Premier Collection, if you have the uh, Capital One Venture X. All right, and let's now talk about our final hotel booking. And this one we did book completely with points, and that is the Hilton Waikoloa Village. So we're going to the Fairmont Orchid to attend a wedding. And then the last two days, we're just going to a hotel that we thought looked awesome. Um, it's got some awesome fun things for the kids like a lagoon where you can swim with fish. It's got uh, water slides, water park, all that cool stuff. Everyone who I've mentioned to it to who knows Hawaii says it's one of the best hotels there. So super excited um, to go to this one. I think there's a little, even like a monorail or a train or something that takes you around, or you can go by boat through a canal to get to your like different towers of the hotel. Very, very cool. So yeah, we actually spent 150,000 points on this one but those Hilton points were transferred from Amex and I took advantage of a deal where you got a 25% transfer bonus. That was uh, going until the end of August, right? I transferred the points last month. So normally Amex points transfer at a one to two ratio to Hilton, but this 25% bonus gave you a one to 2.5 ratio. So 60,000 Amex points became 150,000 Hilton points. The rooms were 75,000 points per night. So 150,000 for two nights. I think I booked a queen resort view rooms Nothing special. I got gold status, so I should get an upgrade anyway to something slightly better than that. Those rooms is about $400. However, once you go through the whole process of booking and the taxes and the resort fees are added on, um, it actually took me up to closer to over $500 per night. So it was $1,062.51 um, for two nights at this hotel. We paid for that with 60,000 Amex points. So we actually got 1.7 cents in value for Amex points. That's actually really good value when booking a hotel. I was very, very pleased with that. Even if I totally screwed up with the Delta booking, the Hilton Hotel booking, Waikoloa Village, we're getting really good value. And on top of that, I've got Hilton Gold status from the Amex Platinum, so that will get me a room upgrade. It also gets me $18 food and beverage credit per person 
per day, up to two people. So that's $36 per day for breakfast. So that's another saving of over $70 uh, because having Hilton Gold status. Uh, and we'll get a few more perks and things uh, in addition. All right, let's now go through what this trip would have cost and we'll show you what we've actually spent in terms of money and points. So the total value of this trip is $5,863 and we have only spent $1,745, which while that isn't, you know, it's not free, um, it's still way, way better. I mean, we're basically paying for a, like two star vacation and we're getting five star, okay? Apart from the flight, but certainly the hotels. Um, we also, in addition to that, spent 280,000 points. So 220,000 for the flight and 60,000 Amex points obviously transferred over to Hilton, becoming a large number of Hilton points um, for the Hilton Waikolo Village. And then the other hotel was paid with cash. And the average value I got out of points when you combine the flight and the hotel is 1.3 cents per point, which is not good, guys. Don't follow my example. Um, but hey, sometimes when you're traveling with a family, you cannot get the same value that you would get on those aspirational business class redemptions like I did that Polaris business class a few weeks ago. I get six cents per point in value. Um, you can't necessarily do that when you're traveling with the whole family, okay? It's much, much harder. So I will be sure to make videos about both these hotels. Obviously not gonna bother with the flight because it's not anything special, but uh, look forward to hotel reviews from the Fairmont Orchid and the Hilton Waikolo Village uh, in the upcoming weeks after I've had my trip. Also, if you do wanna support the channel, do consider signing up for the brokerage app Weeble. It is a zero commission investing app, very similar to Robinhood, but with much better charts and tools. And if you sign up and deposit any amount of money, you can get up to 12 free stocks. So link for that is below. And another way you can support the show guys is with your credit card application. So I will put my credit card guide below. There's a lot of different cards on our website. Some of those may be ones you guys want to get, uh, but you can also click through any card. For example, if you click through the Amex Platinum, it takes you to creditcards.com. You can actually then search by issuer and you can pretty much find any credit card in existence in the US market on there. And obviously if you click through to the bank site, from that site and apply. Um, we do get a small commission. We thank you very much if you do use our links because it supports our show, but just make sure the welcome bonus you are offered is competitive with what's publicly available. As always, guys, please subscribe if you're new, leave your comments down below, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.